YT Dan Duel Links is brought to you by Dank Duelists Like You. Become a YouTube member to never miss. What's going on my boys? YT Dan back again with another new video. And today I want to talk about something really cool because heroes are about to be broken. Um, the new structure deck is on the way. Hero generation and I typically don't do too many videos like this but honestly this is one of those videos that just needs to be made because literally it's gonna change the game so I'm gonna need you guys to go ahead and crush that like button and subscribe for more meta game commentary as we're going through the Yu-Gi-Oh Duel Links journey together also my boys don't forget to crush that like button because I just asked for it twice <laughs> Now, anyway, uh, the hero generation structure deck is going to be interesting. We do know of a few confirmed cards, and I would say that honestly, there are two cards that are going to break this deck, and, and there's always a reason to buy three, right? Konami's never going to give you a new structure deck and give you no reason to not go in with all three cards, and there's going to be three cards that are going to be entered into Duel Links um, that are definitely of note. So you got Mass Hero Koga, which has an interesting effect, which I don't necessarily think is gonna be a meta breaking card because you know it's a Mass Hero, it's light, there's not too many matches for that. But I think that the main cards that are gonna grow extremely popular is Favorite Hero and also the Trap Card Hero Blast. So the first thing I wanna talk about actually is Hero Blast because I think Hero Blast is gonna change how Duel Links is played overall is gonna change the game of Duel Links completely because there is easy fuel for Hero Blast. The Hero Blast gives us control over the board by being able to destroy a monster. So Hero Blast, in case you didn't know uh, what it does, basically it says target one elemental hero monster in your graveyard, add that target to your hand. Then if your opponent controls any monster with less attack than the monster added, you can destroy one of those cards. Now, what's disgusting about this is number one, this effect does not target. It pretty much goes for if your opponent has a monster, if the attack is below the attack, destroy the monster. So pretty much if your opponent doesn't respond to this immediately, they really can't stop it. Additionally, this card is gonna be enabled by elemental hero, Brave Neos, because you're pretty much gonna hit your Neos fusion throw your Neos in the graveyard and use the Neos to destroy a card while also controlling the field with your Hero Blast. Now what's insane about this deck is that we already know the Elemental Heroes did get a boost to their um, abilities with Jaden, and I believe now it's just easier to use. I think it's uh, the skills called Hero Time. So there is even more reason to uh, play Hero Blast and then honestly, you know, you don't need any other normal monsters in the deck because clearly, as you already know, Hero Blast is gonna be easily accessible with something like Balance. And then also the monster being put in the graveyard, like Neos, of course, can be uh, easily put there by using your uh, Neos fusion or using um, the Power Dragon Monster. Uh, dang, I just forgot his name, but you know what I'm talking about. The level four monster that searches the deck and lets you grab your Neos fusion and then you go ahead and summon the Neos. So that's gonna be absolutely disgusting. And Hero Blast is gonna make heroes even more dangerous than they were before. But the next card I wanna talk about is Favorite Hero. Now, Favorite Hero is a little bit different. This card is really good and honestly, uh, I hate when they add random equipped cards to Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. It, it really does feel like um, they put the cheesiest equipped cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. And because how Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links is set up with the 4,000 life points, the three monster card zones, it's a fast paced, you know, easy in, easy out kind of game. Equipped cards are often slept on, but cards like Power the Guardian definitely are dangerous equipped spells. Because as Yu-Gi-Oh continued to grow and the power creep increased um, in the actual trading card game, the equipped cards just got stronger and stronger and stronger because there had to be some reason or some sort of viability or uh, to even use them. So now we're at this card favorite hero, which is absolutely disgusting. It says equip only 
to a level five or higher hero monster equipped to brave neos if you control a field zone card uh the equipped card gains attack equal to its original defense which is insane so brave neos gets a tremendous boost from that alone also your opponent can't target the monster with any effects so you have a card that boosts the attack of the monster you have a card that gives it non-targeting we're not even done yet my boys then also at the start of the battle phase you can activate one field card directly from your hand or deck you can only use the effect of favorite hero once per turn when equipped monster attacks and destroys opponent's monster by battle you can send this card to the graveyard and tack a second time in a row oh excuse me you can send this card to the graveyard and have this monster attack a second time in a row so basically you're going to use your spell card um you're going to play neos fusion neos fusion is going to allow you to special summon brave neos you're going to equip brave neos with favorite hero and you're going to use hero blast to control the field if they if and so that they can't stand back up and pretty much with the um field spell thing in battle you're gonna swap out your neo space for a necro valley it's gonna be absolutely disgusting so before we leave you today on this video i want to talk about a potential deck that you might build with it and it's gonna be really disgusting because All right, boys, we're back. And now I'm gonna finally show you guys this deck that I have brewing in the back of my mind. Now, I think you're gonna have to run this deck using the Neo Space skill, uh, rocking it with Jaden. And then of course you wanna enable our plays to use Keeper of the Dragon Magic to get to our Neo's Fusion or play Neo's Fusion as soon as possible. Now in the place of favorite hero, I have Power of the Guardian in this deck and in the space of Hero Blast, I'm using Dimensional Prison. So if I get it mixed up as I'm talking about it, I just got a little mixed up, but you get where I'm going with this. So pretty much on the first turn, you can use Neos Fusion to summon out Elemental Hero Brave Neos. And with your Neos space on the field, he'll be at 3100. And if you equip him with Favorite Hero, you can take his defense and add it to his attack. So that's going to boost him from... 31 to 5100 which is insane so you got a 5100 brave neos on the field your opponent is not going to be able to destroy this card you're going to put in the graveyard your elemental hero neos and some other card which might be something like bacon saver or maybe ad changer and let's just say it is one you have both of those cards in this deck so now you have two little spots open and we're going to get to that my boys now that you have these two spots open and um, you have these two cards, put one of either one in the graveyard, you're gonna go ahead and set that Hero Blast. Now Hero Blast is gonna allow you to control the board and keep any monster from being 2,500 or less on the field. It's gonna keep it off the field. And if for whatever reason you don't need to use Hero Blast, you've always got this, Cosmo Brian. And with, and you, and you heard me my boy, it's Brian, not Brain. Brian you got to summon Cosmos Brian now know what else is insane about this card you can use it in combination with keeper of the dragon magic keeper of the dragon magic can summon the Neos from the graveyard you can use Cosmo brain pretty much to get rid of that Neos and summon the Cosmo then go ahead and do the jutsu all over again it's absolutely disgusting and I would say that another card that you can definitely put in the spot is here Justy Break, which just came out. And if your opponent declares an attack against your Neos, you can use Justy Break to clap all the monsters on the field, which is even more disgusting. And then if your opponent tries to use cards like Kite Roy or Bacon Saver to protect themselves while you're assaulting them with your big boy Neos, you can use the effect of Favorite Hero to switch your Neo space for Necro Valley, dropping your monster to 4,500, a meager 4,500 attack points while controlling the graveyard and allowing them not to escape. Although you use your AD changer from your graveyard to open them up before making this play, 
and you use cards like Cosmic Cyclone to get rid of their back row. If it was me, I would probably run double or triple Cosmic Cyclone with my equip spells. And then also I would run three of the Hero Blast and three of the favorite hero. This deck is gonna be a problem. This is like literally, I don't understand why they put those cards in the game, but seriously, do not underestimate the power of Hero Blast and Favorite Hero because these two cards are gonna be game changing, game ending cards all on its own. But I don't know my boys, let me know what you think about um, this deck, the starter deck. Let me know what you think about the new cards that are gonna be added to the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, my boys. But I'm gonna catch you guys in the next stream or video. And as always, keep it day. We'll be running with the lions, lions. We'll be running with the lions.